Uh, hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and I've been getting a lot of questions as to, you know, how I'm getting all my aerial shots. Uh, especially lately, you know, it's ever since I released a trailer for my new film, uh, a lot of you have just been wondering how, you know, how you can get uh, you know, kind of flying shots in your video. And it's pretty simple, I just bought this little uh, quad, remote controlled quad, uh, called a DJI Phantom, and uh, I just converted it a little bit so, uh, so I could get better shots with it. Alright, so this is the, the DJI Phantom, and uh, basically I converted it so you can fly it uh, FPV, which is first person view, and you can use it this way to kind of, you know, record actual aerial video, but you can actually, you can frame your, the shots, you know, as opposed to just flying blindly and hoping you get getting good shots. So what I did is, uh, using the standard DJI Phantom controller, has this metal handle, so using one screw I attached this monitor, uh, 7 inch monitor, it's like a kind of a standard thing that you use on your DVD players in your cars. Um, and here I attached a battery for the monitor, another battery for a video transmitter. And here's a, a 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter. And uh, I have an antenna that I bought. Uh, allows me to fly a little bit longer range. And, um, and that you know, feeds the video signal to the monitor. And here, with the quad, I added foam up here just for softer landings, but uh, I attached the GoPro and I, I just attach it in its standard GoPro, you know, case. So in case I hit the ground really hard, it's still protected. And here, uh, this is kind of where you know the extra accessories I added. So this is the video transmitter, and that's actually the receiver over there. So that transmits the video, and you just plug it in using a standard uh, mini USB cable to the GoPro. And then uh, this thing has an, its own battery. It's probably not the best way to do it, but for now that's how I do it. So this has its own battery to power this. And then here's the battery for the actual DJI Phantom. So before you start it off, always turn on the transmitter first for the for, for the Phantom. Uh, then put in the batteries, put it down, wait for it until you get basically a green light blinking if you're flying in GPS mode or yellow light blinking if you're flying in a, in a attitude mode. And always check that your propellers are nice and tight because some people have been losing them and then they lose the whole quad. And uh, plug in your camera here. Also, I'm gonna plug in the power here for my video transmitter. Check that the light is on. The video, yeah, it's on. So it should be transmitting a video signal now. And just set it aside. So here I'm going to power up the, the video receiver, receiver to this little battery and then the actual LCD screen, plug it in and turn on the radio, video tr receiver. Sometimes it's hard to see whether those lights are on or not in the sunshade, sunshine, but um, here you can actually see the uh, what the monitor sees. So if I grab the, the quad, you can see that I'm pointing at myself now, and so I can see basically everything that the quad sees. So you see the quad is here, and as I rotate it, this is what it's seeing. So anyway, so we'll start the camera now on, on the, the GoPro, and we'll record our flight. So we got, a, we got power. We're gonna take off. Let it hover for now, and you can see this is what we're seeing here through the, the camera there. And as I rotate the camera or the quad, I can look around. I can even look at us right now. Here, it's me standing, and uh, you can start flying.
And now, as you can see, uh, flying this thing is pretty easy. It, in, in fact, it's almost like, like playing a video game. So if you've played any flying video games, you should have no problems uh, flying this thing. Uh, it's very stable, uh, you know, pretty, pretty easy to control. Uh, doesn't mean you're not going to have any little accidents <laughs> like you see up here. Uh, and that's just simply because, you know, especially at the beginning when you're flying this, it's hard to tell sometimes just how close you are to, to objects uh, when you're just looking through the camera. Uh, but the great thing about the DJI Phantom is that, you know, so many times that I've hit something or, you know, fallen down uh, and hit the ground, it really the worst that's happened is I've just broken a propeller. So, you know, just it takes a few minutes, put on a new propeller, they're really cheap, and you're back up flying again. Um, now, as you can see, the shots are pretty smooth. All these shots that you're seeing up here are straight, you know, uh, straight from the camera. I didn't do any post-processing on it. But if, uh, if, for example, when you are flying on really windy days and the quad might kind of struggle with the wind a little bit, you're going to get a bit of a shake in the, in the video. Uh, again, you can stabilize that very easily in Adobe After Effects. Uh, or just simply, like I said, just, just try flying it on, on days when it's not too windy. Uh, now, I, I got my DJI Phantom for around $670 on Amazon. You can just follow the links in the description of, of this video uh, if you want to get the same deal. And also, uh, like I said, I, I customized mine. So I painted it so it's a different color. It's, that's just for the look of it. And um, normally comes uh, comes white. Uh, and also I've uh, converted uh, mine so that you can fly the first person point of view uh, you know, with the wireless video transmitter. And uh, if you want to see more information and more detailed photos and diagrams of how I connected everything, just go to tomantosfilms.com. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something. Uh, see you guys next time.